Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are going to be talking about Sony's situation with Helldivers 2 and what they could do to remediate uh, or not have a huge issue in regards to that. I know I'm just a small content creator on you on the platform, but I just wanted to speak about the matter anyway because I think even if my opinion is in the, the best of the, of the best, I just uh, wanted want to cr give a critical, a mindful opinion about something that affects me in this regard as well. Not in terms of hey, I can make a, a PlayStation account or whatever, but I think. That place, what PlayStation is doing is absolutely wrong way to go about it. Especially considering the fact that if we are looking at the recent Steam DB changes, there are a lot of changes, especially uh, banning or removing the game, the ba not, not removing the game from the store itself, but you cannot lo no longer buy it. Because your game isn't uh, technically supported in those regions. So here is my critical opinion about, about the situation, right? As a person who lives in a country that isn't supported by PlayStation and Sony, despite them having a office in, in my specific region or part of the countries in general, it's fucking surprising to me that they haven't added Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania into the account creation list, which should have been a thing a long time ago, considering the fact that Sony has a fucking office in Latvia. Who are you for? Yeah, I'm for real. And the fact that if most people do not know, I'm from Estonia. I'm an Estonian content who makes videos in English language. And I love doing video game, uh, let's play slash walkthrough content in about video games. That's my general goal thing that I do. <coughs> and the fact that I have to make an, an account outside of my own region is fucking ridiculous now i'm gonna be made fun of how i spell ridiculous but i don't give a shit <laughs> right the, it's just uh, such a stupid thing so essentially if you want to have a, sub uh, a support from blade station you have to be this huge ass fucking country where majority of the majority of the people uh, buy the playstations and have access to playstation uh, network which is fucking stupid at best i don't get the idea behind of that so let's make a i don't know if it's a fair comparison because two companies are entirely different but we are going to do this anyway because I think in, the, in this situation, comparison, comparison is absolutely fucking necessary. Uh, when it comes to Xbox and PlayStation, right? They are two different uh, companies. One is owned by Microsoft and another, another is owned by Sony. Here is the comparison. Xbox supports Estonia. Or any Baltic region in that fucking manner. Oh? Are you serious? Yeah, I am. I have an account that is tied to my specific country. Why PlayStation over here? Oh, what the fuck is Estonia? What the fuck is Latvia? What the fuck is fucking Lithuania? Hey, come on, bro. If you want to make it so that people don't break your terms of service, 
Make those countries available in may make those uh, um, support those countries. Basically, what I'm trying to say. Fuck me. Support those countries so no one will break the terms of service. I know it's fucking mind blowing. Seems simple enough, right? The fact that Xbox does it. PlayStation, PlayStation does not is fucking stupid. <laughs> to think about that, the fact that the Sony is absolutely fucking ridiculous about this is just absolutely fucking hilariously stupid. Uh, as someone who enjoys PlayStation games, be it on PC, be it on, on the PlayStation itself. I do own PlayStation 5. I do. I have two accounts. One is my primary account where I don't do uh, gameplay footage at all. And uh, another account is where I record and stream my gameplay footage. I'm not going to specify where, uh, what country they are used to make those accounts because I, uh, in all honesty, I am in, in the risk of getting it banned, but I don't care. The fact that I have to go out of my fucking way to make an account from another country is fucking stupid. Again, I keep, I, uh, keep pushing the narrative of it being stupid because it fucking is. I have... If I want to have to buy a game, I literally have to look at all of the local stores to buy them, or buy a gold, a redeem a redeemable gold that I can then use on PlayStation website, and bam, I have money on the account so I can buy games or or uh, have a PlayStation Plus service. I. And at the time of recording, at the time of the recording, let me check. Let me go, uh, uh Steam, search it, search the Hell Divers too. At the time of the recording, there are overwhelming negative, which is 20, 211,000. Uh, negative reviews that's not how you go go about these things again support more countries so people don't have to break the TOS and here is the TOS that you might be breaking as well uh where goes I grab to tweet oh let me see let me try to find from a specific Discord server that I am far off, so I don't have to actually read the terms of service myself again. Actually, you know what? Let's read the terms of service. Uh, PlayStation terms of service. Then we are. <clears throat> so let's see. What is that? Account creation usage and security, 3, uh, 3.2. During account creation, you must select the country or region of your residence and in which your account will be created in. Once your account is created, you will not be able to change the country or region code associated with your account. Here is another one. That is 3.1. All information provided during account creation and during the use of your account must be accurate and complete. We serve the rights to suspend, terminate or restrict any account, including as stated in section 12.2 of this agreement that uses or was created using false information or that we determine. 
was created or used for purpose that violates this agreement. So imagine being PlayStation, right? And you want people to create an account from regions or a country that they, that they resonate in, but they can't. So what they must do? Not to have an account at all? Or going on more abuse the fact that PlayStation might or m might or may not be enforcing this rule? I genuinely, even though my opinion or my situation doesn't doesn't matter for all, is mind blowing. And quite frankly, if both of my accounts may or may eventually get banned, then it is what it is. Um, I am. I mean, sure, I am in the risk of getting banned. Eventually, there is a possibility of that happening. But at the other end of the day, if you want people not to break the terms of service, then support more countries. Easy as that. Um, unless you want to get soiled by European Union, then that I guess you could do that too. Uh, but, I don't know. Take this video as you wish. Uh, if you take anything out of, like, context, fuck off. You suck my penis. But at the end of the day, uh, this whole situation is fucking stupid. Um, and people shouldn't, if, if PlayStation was like, oh, you know what, you are required to have PlayStation account connected to your, uh, hell divers on PC in order to keep playing, uh, uh, since day one, this won't be an issue, or will be an issue, but less likely to blow up, but, Whatever, man. Even though I own PlayStation, I'm gonna say it straightforward. Fuck PlayStation. Even though I buy the games directly from their website or any any other third party. Uh, okay, to make it simple to understand, in terms of my situation, since my PlayStation isn't from the country I am from, um. I have to use third party websites to buy a gold in order to put money on the PlayStation account. Simple as that. But I don't know whether or not the website that sells these things, the, 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 the third party website that sells these things, actually send the funny funds to the PlayStation. They might not, they might. I don't know, I don't really care. But either way, I don't really buy the games directly from PlayStation because I ca fucking can't. As I explained previously, and in all honesty, I'm glad that I can. But in the. All in all, this is a very unfortunate situation to be in. Uh, very unlikely that uh, my video will change anything despite of me kind of raging at it. Unlikely that anything will change in the foreseeable future, who fucking knows. But it's just fucking stupid. It's fucking a ridiculous situation to be putting the hell divers community in and a bunch of other more stuffs. But I think this video has been long enough. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give a subscription, like, and comment down below what are your thoughts about the situation. And if you didn't like the video at all, leave a dislike 
I don't mind it at all. And uh, yeah, have a good one everyone. And I will see you guys in the future gaming videos, news or whatever I have in my mind. Have a good one. Bye bye. In a world of constant evolution, where the line between man and machine begins to blur, a new age of possibility.